Nah, I'm not gonna lie to you. I've been told from the biggest bird himself that this is supposed to be the biggest update yet. So, you know, I'm just trying to figure out what's going on real quick. But hold on, man. What you doing? What you doing, Kelly? Oh, so we actually have, like, different character slots we could use now. So we can actually make multiple ninja. That's good, cool, that's good, cool, that's good. Cool. Hey, uh, what is that? I know Ninja Uzumaki. You have an Uzumaki clan? No, that's okay, that's cool. I like that. You got the Hugo and Chiasu. Uh, is there anything different in the Sand Village? You still can spawn in. Okay, you can be a part of Nah, this is tough, bro. So, I guess you start off with specific releases now. This wasn't like this in the other builds. So, you can start off with either fire, earth, uh, water. I believe this is lightning, and I think this is wind. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think we had a little graphics update too, but I'm trying to see. Oh, we have different skin tones now too, my brother. What, what, what's going on? I think we actually have more hair size too. If I'm not, I'm gonna speak. What is the. Whoa, whoa, whoa! This might give me trash, bro. Yeah, I think I might just speed through the character creation side because if you haven't already, go ahead and watch the last video. I, I went in depth with this specific part. So if you want to see more of this, go watch that video, bro. So I gotta keep in mind with the last time I played, uh. Whichever clan I choose is pretty important because it becomes your last name. So if you name me the character, say Bonnie, for instance, you're going to be named the Bonnie Uzumaki if you choose the Uzumaki clan. Bonnie Hugo if you choose Hugo. Vice versa for Uchiha, you feel me? I immediately notice that I have five ninjutsu slots at the bottom of my screen. I normally would have eight or something like that. So I guess you got to grind now, but I don't know. What the heck? What am I wearing, my brother? Hold on. Don't do that. There's no... You have to grind for clothes. Oh, hold on. Wait, what is this? Main mastery stats. You have the Jutsu mastery, Taijutsu, Ninjutsu, movement mastery. Movement mastery? Well, hold on. This game kind of getting grindy. Hold on, bro. What's going on? Hold on. Wait a minute. What is this? What is this? You have a skill tree? No? Talk to me, bro. What is this? Target dash. Description. Unlocks the ability to target dash a fast, precise. Oh! Am I read? Can I read? No. I don't think I can read. Hold on. Let me try it again. So apparently, you have to actually unlock different. Trees, if I'm right, because like if you look at this, it's not just juices. If you look at this, it says hand size speed one, hand size speed two. So the more you play, the more uh, experience you get. I guess it increases your ability to weave hand signs, but you can unlock one handed signs, my brother. Nah, 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 nah you going on David. I gotta check out the rest of this. So I'm thinking, right, you actually have to grind out certain moves or. Like, say you want to like, upgrade your ninjutsu, you actually have to use ninjutsu so you can get master points for your ninjutsu to unlock certain stuff for ninjutsu. You get what I'm saying? And it's, it's vice versa for taijutsu. So say, for instance, you just wanted to unlock this right here. You probably only just need to use your hands to fight and block a lot to achieve mastery points for taijutsu. This game getting pretty in-depth. And alongside with that, I'm sure you know this by now, but, you know, I'm Bonnie Uzumaki. You guys